Well, my next guest is well known to residents of Milton for his time as both a town and regional councillor, plus giving Gord Krantz a run for his money. In the last mayoral election, he's now bumping up to provincial politics and hoping to become the MPP representing the Provincial Conservative Party. Z Hamid, welcome back to Halta News, my friend. Thank you for having me. So the first question I have to ask you, and I think a lot of people are asking, is why have you decided to run at the provincial level in the upcoming by-election? That's a great question. Jason, I've spent a better part of my life working to make Bilton a better place to live, work, and raise a family. It's just part of the same transition. My goal is to keep Bilton moving and make life more affordable for people uh, in Bilton. Now, you know, it did come as a surprise to many, not that you're back in politics, but that you've decided to align yourself with the Conservative Party. Reason being, you know, the Queen's Park Observer has gone over this. They've reported in the past you've been aligned with the Liberal Party, making donations to the Del Duca campaign, having the endorsement of Milton MP Adam Vancouverton for your recent mayoral campaign. Why make the switch? If you look at the goals I've had my whole adult working life, it is to keep Milton moving, make life more affordable. Things like all day two-way go train service, transit one fare program, highway 413, 401 expansion. All those are things that Ontario PC Party is tackling that liberals will not. That's a simple reason why this is the right path forward. So I'm going to go right off what you said there. You know, one of your first messages sent out to your mailing list featured two main issues that you would focus on. One, all day go service. That's a no-brainer. That's something that... You have mentioned in your time as a councillor, you were lobbying for, I think that's a win-win for everyone and that is fully agreed upon. The second topic though, you just mentioned there, the construction of Highway 413. This is highly controversial, something the Ford government has put in their agenda. Why was it the second most important thing that you seem to be running on? During my time in Milton Council, staff looked into it. Milton Council came out near unanimously asking the province to build 413 because our staff and we understood the value of it for Milton, for keeping goods moving, for keeping Milton moving. Population of Ontario will go up by 5 million people in the next 10 years. Our current infrastructure just can't handle it. So that's 413, though. Now, there has been also the discussion about, you know, working back with the 407 as opposed to the 413. So I'm curious why the 413 is the answer and the push when it is all new construction rather than trying to rework an old deal. That deal is not reworkable. That lease is signed. But as I mentioned, the population of Ontario is going up by 5 million people in the next 10 years. There is no math unless you add more highways. And town of Milton, as you know, We've discussed it before, is planning on putting 50,000 people and 20,000 jobs on Trafalgar Corridor. That's where 413 is supposed to start. And 50,000 people, 20,000 jobs, and all the logistics hubs and goods moving, it's not going to happen without an additional highway. So let's talk about this by-election. Your liberal opponent for the election was announced last week. It is Galen Nadeau Harris. Before we chat about Galen, because I'm sure you've crossed paths before, upon the announcement and seeing his name, was there a slight sigh of relief that the name was not Bonnie Crombie? No, not at all. Not at all. We have a clear message. We're going to keep Milton moving, make life more affordable, fight the liberal carbon tax. And I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I know that's what I'm hearing at the doors as well. And that's our message. And we're going with it regardless of uh, what liberals are doing. Galen Nadu Harris is no stranger to provincial politics. His mother actually held the position that you're running for now before Parm Gill took the spot. Just wanted to get some thoughts on your opponent. As I said, I'm sure you've crossed paths. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, Public service is a hard thing to do, and I commend anyone who puts the name forward. It's uh, really appreciated. That said, though, right now the issues at hand are, as I mentioned, keeping Milton moving, making life more affordable, and liberals are not going to do that. That's just a matter of fact. All right, Z. Well, listen, I wanted to open the floor to you here. Final message to get out there. Why should Miltonians vote for you in this by-election to represent them uh, at the provincial level? Thank you for that opportunity. As I mentioned, I've spent a better part of my life working to make Milton a better place to live, work, and raise a family. This is just an extension of that. Keep Milton moving, bring all the two-day go train service to Milton, get Highway 413 going, get the Tremaine interchange built from Tremaine to 401. Transit One Fair program is a great example of that initiative. And generally, just making life more affordable. If you look at last few years of liberal record, last decade plus a liberal record of increasing taxes, they're making life unaffordable, we're making life affordable, and that's why voters should choose me.